Hey guys, it's your one and only Waka Waka Doctor here again. Thanks for always sticking with me and watching my YouTube uh, videos. Thanks for the comments and the feedback. As always, I am here again to give you tips with regards to travel. But on this episode, it will be a series of various migration options you might have if you decide to leave your current place of residence. As always, you're welcome to your one and only station, Waka Waka Doctor. So, where do we start from? Do you know that there are 195 countries in the world and according to the World Happiness Index and Ranking System, one country stands out as the happiest country in the world. Do you know? One minute. Hmm. It's Finland. And so I'm going to be talking to you about your Finland migration option. Now, the easiest method or way to migrate or move to Finland is through the academic platform schooling. Now, there are two higher educational options you might have. Um, either you want to commence undergraduate studies or postgraduate studies. All right. Undergraduate studies will take three years. Master's programs usually last about two years and doctorate degrees will be about four years. Now, you also have universities. There are about 22 of them um, where you can do applied sciences. They are different from regular universities in that they op um, have options for vocational studies. There are 22 of them, 13 regular universities and 22 universities of applied sciences. Now, you're going to ask me, the most important thing here is funding. Funding, funding. How do we get money? Well, prior to the 2017-2018 academic year, funding used to be free. Tuition was free, you didn't need to pay money. However, afterwards, uh, for non-European students, international students, they now ask for tuition fee. But don't fret, don't be afraid. How much do you need? Basically, it ranges from like 4,000 euros to about 18,000 euros. So how much is that in Naira? That is about 2 million up to 8, 10 million at least. So the least you need is about 2 million naira. However, if you decide to do courses that are taught in Finnish, with a view to understanding the language, then tuition will be very free for you. You don't need to pay. All right, good. Now, additionally, there are schools in Finland that often give you 50 to 100% funding. Scholarships, I mean. So you can also look up schools that are willing to give you 100% or 50% scholarships. Now, let's talk about low tuition fee universities in Finland. I'll list names and probably give you or tell you how much they pay. Aalto University, A-A-L-T-O University. You need about 12,000 euros uh, if you're going to study masters, okay? Um, Tampere University, all courses would be between six and 10,000 euros per year. Akada University is one of the cheapest universities and they usually would ask you for about 5,000 or 6,000 euros every year. There are other universities. Um, University of Vasa is quite interesting. Um, the tuition fee is about 10,000 euros per year, but they always give 50 to 100% fee waivers for exceptional students, so you might want to think about that, okay? Diaconia University, D-I-A, Konia University is another university of applied sciences and the tuition fee is as low as 4,000 euros, okay? Same with Savonia University, um, it's the second cheapest university in Finland and the tuition fee is about 5,000 euros, so 5,000 euros is about 2 million naira. Lati University is another one and tuition fee is about 5,400 per year, okay? And the list is long, okay? Karelia University, Kajana University. As you watch this video, I would put in the description box the names of these universities and the tuition fees. You might want to read that um, while you watch this video. 
Don't forget to also visit my website www.wakawakadoctor.com if you want to see this migration option. So let's continue with Finland. What is the living cost in Finland? Um, if your program is subject to a charge in uh, proof of funds um, because you need a proof of funds um, which is expected of you after paying tuition, you're required to have at least 500 euros. Uh, 500 euros would be about 200,000 200, naira. Yeah, it's about 200,000 naira every month to cover housing, food, and other expenses. Okay. Um, this actually means that for a year, you will need to show proof of about 7,000 euros in your account. Okay, which is less than 3 million now, just in your account for you to be able to get visa so that it shows that you'll be able to take care of your feeding and your housing for the academic year. Okay. Now, when you're applying for master's program, um, a master's program in Finland, what are the things you need to know? All right. The academic year for master's program in Finland usually starts in September. Um, um, but if it's, yeah, it starts up September and would end usually um, in June, all right? Um, what do you need entry requirements? First, you need an undergraduate degree. That's if you're studying master's. You need an undergraduate degree of three years at least. You need um, three years working experience if you're going to the Applied Sciences University. Remember that I told you that they're regular universities and they're applied um, science universities. You need your transcript, okay? You need language skills, so your IELTS. Remember, I always say it on Twitter, have you done your IELTS, okay? So you need your IELTS. Or if you understand Finnish or Swedish, um, you need to show proficiency in that, okay? Quite often, for most of these universities, you're not expected to pay any application fee, so it's free, application free, all right? And every university, um, in Finland has career services that would put you through, um, you know, and help you and assist you through your choice of study, okay? Owing to the fact that Finland is part of EU, that means that visa requirements would apply to non-EU um, students and EEA students, so African students and international students would need to apply. And you can only apply for student resident permit once you have, you have an acceptance letter from a Finnish university. Um, it usually takes a while, but maybe about two months at the max, six to eight weeks. So it shouldn't take a, long a lot of time. And if you ask me, uh, what do you need to apply to the Finnish embassy? The Finnish embassy is located in Abuja. So all you need is proof of funds, which you talked about, 7,000 euros at least. That's about 2.8 million naira. You need a formal letter from the university at least. You need a valid passport. Have you done your passport? You need a valid passport. And health insurance. Health insurance is very cheap. You can get this insurance for 5,000 naira. Online. You see? Okay. So people would ask, what about after study? What happens? Well, if you complete your program, then you're eligible to have or receive a temporary residence permission, uh, which allows you to apply for jobs. It gives you 12 months to look for a job. And then when you get a job, you're eligible to apply for a work permit that grants you permanent residence in Finland. And then you continue your journey. Right, so guys, that's been me talking about Finland in a nutshell. What do you think? Is Finland one of those countries you'd be interested in going to? I bet it is. So, write the IELTS, get your passport. I think with about five, six million naira, you should be on your way to Finland, really. It's been your one and only Waka Waka Doctor and it's been a pleasure serving you this Finland.